Hi, Thiago. Um, thanks a lot for, for joining me from, uh, from San Paolo. Uh, we were just talking, you were talk telling me you, you're pretty tired. Yes. Um, how long have you sort of, how much have you worked in the last few days? Uh, hi, Frank. Uh, thanks to invite me to this conversation. Uh, I, I was uh, working uh, about 36 hours uh, uh, until seven o'clock uh, this morning here in Brazil. Uh, here in Brazil, we, uh, it's one o'clock p.m. And uh, I, I work at intensive care units uh, with the critical ill patients uh, with uh, coronavirus. And uh, you are also part of the popular doctors network, right? Yes. Uh, here in Brazil, we, we found a movement years ago uh, named Popular's, uh, Popular's uh, Doctors Network. And uh, we, we help the, the social movements to, uh, uh, to debate the public, public health system and uh, the, the health of, the, of our people here in Brazil. I want to ask you, um, I was reading today about, uh, it looks like the peak of the coronavirus hasn't hit Brazil yet. I mean, they're talking about the peak in May, maybe in June. Apparently, there's a huge lack of, of testing. Uh, they're testing um, 300 people per million, which is nothing compared to other countries. Uh, I mean, the US, for example, test 9,000 people per million. Mm -hmm. uh, you also have a president, Bolsonaro, that, that is probably the denier in chief in regards to the coronavirus and its impact. Mm -hmm. And finally, you've got 13 million people living in favelas where social distancing is, is pretty much impossible. So how, how bad is the situation already on the ground? Uh, here in Brazil, we have uh, we we can call it two waves of the of strike uh, of the coronavirus outbreak and strike uh, in our country. The first w was it at the the private hospitals because the coronavirus here in Brazil uh, he he came here uh, imported with the people uh, uh, the middle class and rich people. That travel to Italy, travel to Germany, travel to China, and uh, most uh, people with with higher incomes. Uh, so the the private hospitals, uh, especially, especially here at São Paulo, uh, uh, they they support the first uh, how can we say the, the first wave uh, of of cases here in Brazil, uh, and the 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 contagious spreading uh, uh, all over uh, our country, we are seeing now the second wave in the huge wave, in, in a huge wave uh, that we call the uh, tsunami uh, in the public, public health system, the SUS, our SUS. Uh, we, we, uh, so we call the uh, system of, uh, universe, Sistema Universal de Saúde, SUS, uh, our, our national health system that is universal to any citizen uh, in Brazil, including uh, immigrants. So uh, here now, uh, uh, some states uh, like Ceará, uh, Amazonas, uh, São Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, Amapá, they are facing a, a huge uh, number of, of, of cases and increasing uh, every day uh, at the public health system. Uh, I, I work at São Paulo, and the state of São Paulo is the is the most uh, uh, how can I say the the state th that concentrates the the the, the most uh, the majority of of uh, beds of hospital beds in in our country. Uh, 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 same uh, I, ICU beds and uh, infirmary nursery nursery beds here. So São Paulo. Uh, concentrates a lot of these beds, the hostel beds uh, uh, of our country. These states uh, that I've that I've uh, talked about, Amazonas, Ceará, Amapá, uh, Rio de Janeiro, they they have an, a fewer number of hospital beds and a fewer capacity of response uh, of of building a, a nice response to the the strike of coronavirus infection here. So uh, the 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 
the leading of Bolsonaro uh, at this crisis, it's uh, some of some a disaster uh, for us here in Brazil because uh, the former minister of health uh, called uh, Mandetta uh, was uh, expelled, expused, uh, expelled for, from the government a few days ago, uh, and. Uh, uh, besides, he's a right-wing uh, politician, but he's a doctor. He's a medical doctor. So uh, minimal science, uh, minimal science-based response we had uh, until next last week. So now uh, Bolsonaro has uh, is is forcing to uh, is forcing to uh, change a huge change in our response. Uh, to open markets, to open schools, to open the the normal life, uh, he is uh, the worst uh, global leader uh, we we could expect in the, in response of a pandemic like this. And you've mentioned just before the fact that the uh, COVID nineteen was brought to Brazil by the middle class and the wealthy. And, and I think it's, it's very important for people to understand this, right? Uh, Brazil is one of the most um, unequal society in the world. Yes. And, and I guess the poor of Brazil now, must, there must be such an anger because, right, I mean, the first wave has been controlled because the rich, I guess, have access to private hospitals, very good yeah. health system. But when it's going to start hitting the poor of Brazil, I mean, the impact might be... Horrible, right? No, but no, no, yes, I, I, we, we don't know the impact that uh, I, I work in a, in a public hospital too. And uh, our public hospitals here in Sao Paulo, they are near nearing the, the, the limit of, of uh, their capacity. Oh, uh, I said uh, two weeks or three weeks ago, we we're talking to friends that the coronavirus here in Brazil, uh, it's a disease uh, Brought here to the the rich and middle classes, but that we that uh, will kill the poor people of our country. The the poor people of our country will die uh, for, for, for from a disease that they uh, they didn't have any guilty. Uh, so, but it's it's uh, it's guilty. It's not the the, the word because. Uh, anyone who uh, uh, wants to 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 be sick, anyone uh, wants to to uh, be infected with the coronavirus, but uh, 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 some states is like uh, Sierra and Amazonas, they they overwhelmed the the capacity of the our pu public systems, so uh, people are dying without uh, without uh, uh, medical assistance. Uh, 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 how can I say? Uh, the needed, the, the the medical system that the people need. Uh, in two states now, uh, Ceará and Amazonas, uh, they are they are climbing the mountain that Italy and Spain and France and United States uh, already climbed. The the Italy the the the, the mountain of the huge uh, number of cases that the the health systems can't. Uh, can't uh, response. I'd like to talk about the situation in the favelas again. Uh, we know there's about 13 million people living yes. in favelas. It's overcrowded. It's already very hard for them to do social distancing, um, yes. to respect health measures. Uh, but when on top of that, you have a president that tells the people, you don't really need to do that. You don't really need to wash your hands. Yes. You don't really need... Like, how do they, I mean, how do they, if you know about it, how do they maybe self-organize in the favelas to, to fight against this coming tsunami? We, we, we are seeing as, uh, uh, various types of responses at favelas, at, at the, the popular neighborhoods here in Brazil. Uh, the, the communities are organizing itself uh, to, with, with uh, warnings, with uh, radio programs, uh, with uh, the groups on WhatsApp, uh, uh, so they can they can circulate the right information. They can they can warn the people that uh, is following the Bolsonaro is following Bolsonaro. They they can 
they can uh, organize uh, the a network of solidarity with uh, uh, food, uh, with food, with uh, water, the uh, water to wash hands. Uh, that that people at favelas, uh, most of them, they don't have uh, everyday uh, uh, water in, the, in their plums. So uh, well, it's 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 a difficult. Uh, we we can uh, it's difficult for us in Brazil, uh, uh, an equal country that, uh, like you said, uh, to to build one only response, w- w- unique response to uh, the the. Uh, for for the the varieties of of uh, access w- with health that we have in Brazil, so uh, it's very difficult because uh, the the people at, at favelas they're most uh, informal or unemployed here in Brazil, so they they have to work every day to give to to uh, to uh, uh, how can I say to uh, to can eat uh, to, uh, for it né? they 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 have to to work every day uh, to earn some money uh, to to eat to f- uh, feed their the children so the these people uh, it's in wait are waiting for the response of the government to the uh, 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 help uh, uh, can I, can I, uh, oh. We here in Brazil are calling the renda básica universal a uh, uh, a small amount of money, uh, a small amount of money that can help these people to survive this crisis. About six uh, hundred uh, reais. It's uh, it's so little. Uh, it's a little uh, response. It's 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 so little money. It's it's a little amount of money. But uh, Bolsonaro is delaying the delivery. Of this, uh, this this money to to our people, to our poorest people in Brazil. So it's a uh, it's a tragedy. We we're facing a tragedy here, and the social movements uh, like MST uh, are are growing uh, and spreading initiatives uh, to this uh, a solidarity in these initiatives to uh, uh, help these people uh, to survive this pandemic. I wanted to end uh, to talk spe- specifically about uh, Bolsonaro. Um, former President Lula wrote uh, an article in the uh, British Guardian um, saying that the, the, the president, Bolsonaro, was leading Brazil to the slaughterhouse by the way he managed the, the crisis. Um, is there a chance, you think, of him potentially after the crisis facing impeachment or being, um, you know, being asked to to leave office, being fired from his job. Yes, uh, the 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 impeachment word is is growing here in Brazil uh, uh, every day. Uh, every day we count more more deaths uh, by coronavirus, and the impeachment word is growing. Uh, but uh, uh, we are facing such a pandemic that the 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 political actors. Uh, they are they are some of uh, uh, t- t- telling oh calm down uh, we have to face the pandemic uh, impeachment is such a, a huge uh, challenge for all the society so uh, if you if we uh, concretize uh, if we uh, uh, hit the the impeachment word so loud. Uh, we we are at, at risk to face a civil war here in Brazil because Bolsonaro has some support. Bolsonaro has some support of about one third of the pop- Brazilian population, uh, and uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, sad for us to to tell, but it's one third that uh, don't criticize Bolsonaro about anything. Uh, it's one third that uh, follows Bolsonaro like a religion leader. So we have we have a, a, a division uh, in our society that is uh, very dangerous. So uh, the the social movements, the left wing parties here in Brazil, they are they are building uh, the 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 strategies for what 
what's next eh, for what's next uh, uh, after the pandemic but here now we can't uh, we can't uh, go ahead with the impeachment because uh, we have uh, serious issues to 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 do